moving large numbers of cattle, it is important to have them under control. To do this, we need them not to be frightened of us, to walk and not run, and take direction from us. We need to be able to get the cattle to move off, speed up, slow down, stop, hold, and park, and of course, move easily through gates. If we can do this, we can take the cattle anywhere and not be frightened that they will escape and that we will lose control. Remember, every time we handle cattle, it's an opportunity to educate, train and reinforce the behaviour that we want them to have. We are livestock trainers. To do this, we all need to understand cattle behaviour, how to apply the system, and we all must know the plan on how we are going to move them. When all this comes together, we will enjoy moving cattle, it will be easier and safer for us, and it will be less stress for the cattle, which will improve their welfare. So let's do this. When you let cattle out of the yards, it is an opportunity to keep control of the animals and remind them of correct handling. Have someone in the lead to give direction and control the pace of the cattle. The lead rider should not be too close to stop the cattle or too far away to let them start running. Do not hunt or push the cattle out of the yards. Instead, allow them to drift out of the yards and follow the herd. If cattle are a bit pushy in the lane, you can pull the lead up. This will give you an idea of the cattle behaviour. If the cattle get too spread out in the lane, pull the lead up so that the tail can catch up. It is a good idea if you are unfamiliar with the cattle to practice slowing, stopping, parking and starting herd movement in the lane three times before you move them onto pasture. This will help you in developing good cattle behaviour. When cattle move through a gate into a new paddock, do not let them run to the gate and definitely do not let them run off into the paddock. Slow them and hold them up in the paddock and let them settle. Cattle may increase their speed as they move through the gate. Try to slow them down by holding up the lead and do not pressure them from behind. When moving cattle to another pasture, you first have to gather all the cattle into one herd. Here, we are combining two herds to total 600 heifers plus bulls. We are moving them to a pasture about 10 kilometers away. There are four people making up the team and all the stockmen know the system and what the plan is. Importantly, they also know where they have to take the cattle. If you do not know where you are going, how do you know where to take the cattle and position yourself correctly? When we move the cattle, we want to go the most direct route, which is safe for all involved. We are bringing all the cattle together at the end of a winter pen creating a new herd and then letting the cattle settle. We are using all the livestock handling principles of position, pressure, inverted T and communicating with each other by radios. Once the cattle are settled, we then get into our positions to move the cattle through the gate. It is important to not let the lead cattle just run off. Aaron and Chris are in the lead to steady the cattle and keep them all together. Boyd and Matt are keeping the cattle together from behind and maintaining the flow of the cattle as they move through the gate. When steadying the lead, do not try and stop them. Instead, guide them and go with them. If an animal breaks out, do not chase it. Only one rider will go around the animal to bring it back to the herd. When the animal heads for the herd or is in the direction you want it to go, release the pressure. Back off and stop. When moving a herd there are general positions we refer to for the stock handler to use to influence and control the herd. The lead or head of the mob is at the front of the herd. The tail is at the back of the herd and then there are the sides. Going from the tail to the lead on the left and right side are the flank, side or wing, point or shoulder of the mob. We often refer to the positions on a herd just like the positions on a beast. Head, shoulder, 
wing left and right side, flank and tail. With experience you will understand the different job roles in each position on a herd. A competent stockman can take up any of the positions on the herd. The lead position is setting the pace of the cattle and also giving direction to the cattle and the other stockmen. Cattle get used to not only following each other, but also following a person on a horse. The riders at the tail keep the cattle moving at a walk so that the herd can keep together. They are important for maintaining the flow of the cattle. People on the side assist with keeping the cattle bunched up in the mob and also give direction to the cattle. We can use fences to assist us with moving livestock, however we should be able to move the cattle in open pastures with just horse and rider. If the cattle trot or run, do not panic. Just get in a position where you can steady the cattle. Make sure you know where the other stockmen are. Remember, when the cattle are doing what you want, release the pressure. Like cattle moving through a gateway, leave them alone if they are moving. When moving them through the brush and trees, try and pick the best route so that you can see them and influence them. If you have the opportunity to let them have a drink, let them rest for a short while and have a drink. When you get to your destination, settle the cattle on water in the paddock that they will be staying in. This way they know where the water is and they will just drift out to feed. Never leave the cattle not settled and running away from you. If you do this, cattle will become very difficult to handle. They will also develop the habit of leaving their calves when they see or hear someone. How we leave the cattle is how they will remember us. You've now seen four people move over 600 head on pastures. They used a system, they had a plan, and they worked together as a team to move the cattle. By using all the behavioural principles and the livestock handling techniques that we've talked about in this series, they could take the cattle anywhere in a controlled and reliable manner. Mm -hmm.